Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Mayor, and on behalf of my city council colleagues and city staff, I'm pleased to welcome you to the celebration of the completion of the new Central Avenue parking ramp. I'm joined today by my, by my city council colleagues, Carla Bray, who's gone on vacation, uh, council members Joyce Connors, Rick Jones, Kevin Lynch, David Resnick, and Lynn Sutton. We collectively thank you for joining us today for the dedication of this much needed 477 space, seven level ramp that was built to support and indeed encourage continued economic development in our downtown. Clearly this project is a direct result of the recent addition of IBM to the Buke's robust group of downtown employers, as well as the need to enhance and the limited capacity at our existing parking ramps. The new ramp is a much needed asset to our downtown revitalization and will help to serve as a stimulus for the redevelopment of our historic Millwork district. Importantly, of the ramp's 477 available spaces, 115 are currently reserved for transit or daily customers. The remainder can be leased for $52 per month. Notably, as we have done with every major project since 2006, this project supports the principles of our sustainable Dubuque vision of economic prosperity, social cultural vibrancy, and environmental integrity. The ramp was built on an existing municipal parking lot. It has a smart lighting system which monitors each level and only activates lighting when motion sensors detect movement, resulting in significant energy savings. It features six parking spaces with electrical outlets to charge hybrid and electric vehicles, offering the ability to add more as needed. It has storage space for 60 bicycles for biking commuters and others who wish to ride a bike to downtown Dubuque. The ramp also provides large public restrooms. The beautiful landscaped areas around us also function as rain gardens, filtering stormwater before allowing it to soak into the ground which otherwise would divert it to our storm sewer system. Public safety was also a major consideration in the design of this facility. There are 65 security cameras located throughout the ramp, as well as 14 911 emergency kiosks. Clearly, as we all can see, this is not just another parking ramp. It is a low-impact, high-tech facility that is contributing to our downtown vibrancy and ultimate convenience for downtown employees and visitors. It is my honor to congratulate City Manager Mike Van Milligan and his team, especially the Project Manager, Parking System Supervisor Tim Horsfield, for their ability to achieve occupancy in just 11 months, and notably doing so under budget. The project had a very The project had a very aggressive schedule, and it's obvious to many of us that Tim and affiliated city staff work with a great team on the design and construction of this facility. The total budget for the Central Avenue ramp project was $9.4 million, which was financed through a $1.5 million economic development administration grant and $7.9 million in general obligation bond sales. The EDA grant was critical to this project. We are tremendously grateful to the U.S. Commerce Department and U.S. Senators Chuck Grassley and Tom Harkin and U.S. Congressman Bruce Braley for their support. Today we are also celebrating the completion of the expansion of our fire department headquarters located just a few yards from the new ramp right there. I want to first thank Fire Chief Dan Brown and his staff for their support of the ramp project. We know that it created some inconveniences for staff during construction there will be some changes going forward. This expansion project included the addition of three vehicle bays to our existing fire headquarters location. These additional bays were needed because fire vehicles used to exit the back of the building, and that exit was lost with the ramp's construction. The bays now provide for safer egress of fire equipment as they now exit out onto the street instead of through a crowded parking lot. The fire department has also gained some much needed space, which allows for the housing and maintenance of the police department's special response vehicles. <coughs> the cost of this expansion was $737,000, 
finance for general obligation bond sales. It's now my privilege to welcome the Dubuque Area Chamber of Commerce Board Chairman Bob Peacock to speak on behalf of our Chamber uh, of Commerce Ambassadors and the Chamber. Bob? Good morning and what a beautiful Chamber of Commerce weather day. Yeah. <laughs> As Roy mentioned, my name's Bob Peacock. I'm Senior Vice President of American Trust and Savings Bank and I'm the Chair of the Board of the Dubuque Area Chamber of Commerce. As the Chair of the Chamber of Commerce, I represent over 1,400 members of the business community. And on their behalf, I would like to say congratulations on this beautiful new economic asset to the downtown area. This convenient, safe and covered, accessible parking ramp will enhance the quality of life to many of the individuals that work in the downtown area. However, this is so much more than a physical structure. I happened to work on the corner of 9th and Main, and I watched this building go up, which means every day I saw the crane in the air at that point. But it's so much more than that physical structure, because what it really is, is it represents what's going on in Dubuque right now. Growth and prosperity for our area job creation through business attraction and retention. This parking ramp is just one more sparkle in this diamond in the rough we call the Buke. Mr. Mayor, City Council, City Manager, and all the people that made this parking ramp happen, thank you and congratulations. Thank you, Bob, and thank you to the Chamber Ambassadors for being here today. We really value your support. At this time, I'd like to invite my City Council colleagues and City staff to join me in cutting the ribbon and officially dedicating the Central Avenue parking ramp. In addition, following the ribbon cutting, please join us in celebrating and touring the parking ramp and the Fire Department expansion. One, two, parking in style. All right. 